Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for us today. I also got my hair cut and it's a little crazy. Hi sir, what do you need? Wellington has come to say hi. Hi, hey, what do you need? No? Okay. Um, I'm getting office stuff cleaned up. My office is a disaster and I need to reorganize. I need to get in there and do some deep cleaning and some purging and get ready for the new year. So there's going to be some organizing stuff in here. And I also went to Ikea and I'll have a video haul for that as well later today. So, but there's a couple things in this haul I'll show you for a reason that I got at Ikea. But let's move, well, I'll just show you while they're in my hand. I picked up these two, they're stackable, which I love. Like, not just stackable, but like they have feet. So if you stack them, they don't slide. But I grabbed two of these. There's a couple reasons I prefer these at Ikea. They're straight sides, so they can hold more. And I'm using them for a very specific reason. Um, I sell sticker packs at my Etsy store for cross-stitch planners. And um, yeah, so these go with these sticker packs. I'm also getting ready to relaunch some more stickers for some planner stuff. So I need to get myself ready. So I'm making a shipping station. And that, hi. What, what's happening? <laughs> what do we need? You need some, you need your mom. Yeah. This is my old man. He's deaf. I can talk to him until I'm blue in the face, but he doesn't hear me. All right. Thank you. Yeah, why don't you go up here? There you go. Yeah, there you go. Because our friends, they can see you now. Okay, so storage organizing. I'm trying to make a shipping station in my office um, that has my bubble wrap, my poly mailers, um, the stickers will be stored there. And when I get my planners in stock, planners can be stored there. So everything is just kind of together. So I saw these and thought they were fantastic. They are $5 a piece. I got four. I can't, I'm not going to lie, I bought them mostly for the aesthetic because all the furniture in my office is white. These little beige sides snap in. You slide them in like that, and then they stack on top of each other. Now, I'm returning this specific one because I just got home and it's broken. I didn't check it before I left the store. I'm usually, oh, sorry, cat fur. I'm usually not a huge fan of the, the bin type because I feel like you lose a lot of vertical space because they stack. But what for what I need it to do, I this is exactly what I need because I can lay my poly mailers and stuff and just reach in and grab what I need. So I got that. I picked up one of these. Um, this is in the schoolhouse section. I took the thingy off. It's just a storage container. It's three inches wide, I think by six inches long. Um, I'm doing a hundred envelope challenge. So I picked these up because some people are using these to stash their money. So I wanna do a video on my 100 envelope challenge if you guys would be interested in seeing that. I already have my system set up and I use 100% of things that I have on hand, but I'm gonna be collecting some supplies from the Dollar Tree so I can show you how to do it with Dollar Tree stuff. And this is one of them. So I grabbed that. Whew, that was a lot to say I got a plastic container. Um, let's see what else did I get? Oh, for storage in my office, I grabbed one of these, although now I'm thinking the silver girl, get your life together. It's storage, but I like these little containers. I have a couple with the clear lid. This one came with the silver, um, but they're great because I can see them. Like you can see inside and I love those for little bits and bobs. Um, I picked this up for me. I love a good microfiber hair towel. Now we've all determined I don't like the feel of microfiber, but when you have curly hair or, you know, any hair really, you don't want to, you, you need something to absorb the water. My hair holds a lot of moisture, but I don't know if it's going to be long enough. Let's see. It goes like this. Yeah, see, it is not long enough. 
my head. This is like a child size. Or if you don't have a lot of hair. They never make them. I get mine at Marshall's and they are definitely longer. So you put it over this way and you have to twist it and then pull it back and snap it in the button. But this needs to be long. It's not. Okay. I got these for the cats. They're great. I think Wellington or Alex hides them because I'm missing some. I'm missing two pairs, so I grabbed two more. Plus, I like to get fresh ones every once in a while, so I get a clean snip when I do their fingernails. Quite frankly, I've been doing Wellingtons with fingernail clippers for a while because I couldn't find my nail clippers. But These are just little cat nail scissors, and I got two pair. Typically, I keep a set up and a set, a pair up and a pair, are they a pair of scissors, a unit of scissors. Hmm, questionable. I keep one upstairs and one downstairs because I like them handy if I get, especially Alex. He was never like, when he was a kitten, he was a street cat and he was not used to people handling his paws. Where Wellington, I've been clipping his nails since he was a kitten. So he most of the time will let me do his. Alex, I have to really get him in the right mood. So I like to keep them strategically placed depending on the mood of said cat. Um, okay, let's do that. Uh, uh, I'm dropping things. Where'd it go? Well, that's silly. There it is. Okay. Hi, baby. Um, I got some chalk markers, gold, silver. I love chalkboard uh, labels, and I may incorporate these into my new storage system. He's just going to sit here. To my new storage system, and so I grabbed gold and silver. Um, I did, do not need ribbon, but I got these because they're cute. Um, if you can see, it's Grow Game with the little hearts. Sorry, here. I got them in two colors of pink. I do like a Grow Game ribbon. Uh, I just think it works better than the satin, and you can melt the ends and stuff. So I grabbed two of those. I'm also getting ready to purge ribbon. Why am I buying more? It's beyond me, but I need to show you what they got. And that was new. I got food dye. Why? I know why they bring it out of Easter because you can use it to color your Easter eggs, but why only at Easter? I mean, I grabbed it because I needed it and I was actually hunting it down at the Dollar Tree for over Christmas and couldn't find it. Um, every once in a while, I need food coloring, and I just like to have some on hand, and obviously, I didn't. All right, I actually need this receipt. Yep. Okay, this is the receipt because I'm headed back to the store here in a minute. Um, okay, back to storage. I grabbed this in the beauty section. Um... But I'm thinking um, I got a pegboard system for my wall and there's a shelf and this could sit on the shelf and hold tools. So I'm thinking like cricket tools, pokey things, um, sewing. I have my pens that are heat erasable. I have stuff like that. So I was thinking because again, it's clear and it will go with anything and it was $1.25. I'm taking this label off so you can see better. It has two dividers, so there's three sections, and I can section things off, and it will just sit on a shelf. So I grabbed that for that purpose specifically. And then I picked up a piece of sugar-free candy. I picked up three of these for scissors, rotary cutters. So I'm thinking fabric scissors, rotary cutters, paper scissors. I'm that girl. Plus I think three should fit on an Ikea shelf. And if you bear with me for a second, I will find out. Okay, this is the peg system, or this goes to the peg system that I got. I should have bought this when I was there last month. And I was like, no, I'll wait till after the first of the year. Yeah, everybody waited till after the first of the year. And so they were kind of limited on the options, but I can order them online. Anyway, so there's a peg board. And this hooks into the pegboard and becomes a free-floating, oh, I'm a genius. 
And then these three can just sit in the middle, sit up there on my shelf. And when I need a scissor, I can just grab it. Right? Or whatever. I mean, there's lots of things. Glue, paints. There's all kinds of crafting stuff that I use. Glue sticks could be stored in here. Um, you know, glue sticks, bottle glue, things like that. Nothing small, obviously, because it's open, but glue sticks, I think, could handle being in here. It, it's irrelevant what I put in it. Something will end up in here, but these fit perfectly. And these are the Jot wire pencil holders in the copper. So we're just gonna go with all the fine metals, I guess. So I got three of those to go on my board. This is all from Ikea. That The storage stuff is not. So I got three of those and then I picked up for work a little thing of trash bags. I mean, these are four gallon trash bags by my um, Keurig machine at work. I have a trash, a small can and I prefer to have a bag in it so I don't have to keep cleaning it with the K-cups. I mean, that's just it. What we're not gonna do is throw away a, a sugar-free caramel, but we'll throw the other stuff away. And I actually do take these to work as well, but I like to empty it every couple days so it doesn't get yucky and stinky. Okay, in the last bag, we found one more of this. So I looked this up online, Bonita Home, they actually sell this stuff on QVC. Um, so I grabbed one more because I used it for work and it was the perfect portion size for me and I like the glass, so I'm like, all right, let's see if they had any more. They had one more with the gray, I mean, with it happened to have a gray lid like my other one, but they only had one left at my store. So I grabbed it because this is a great find at the Dollar Tree for food storage. Oh, I know why this is so heavy. Um, I grabbed more sugar-free candies. I have a, a snack thing. I just throw these in so I can have one every once in a while. Um, I had to stock up. Okay, I had to as a stretch, but I wanted to stock up <laughs> on um, tuna. So I grabbed, how many of these? Three of these. This is the, they're the same brand, but they stopped putting the little spoon. And these are great for me on the go. I get little mayonnaise packets and I put some mayonnaise in here and use the spoon and stir it up in the packet and have it for a meal when I'm on the go. And this is just garlic, roasted garlic and herb. So it's already seasoned. There's one carb, or this one has two carbs, and then the mayonnaise, and that's a meal for me. So I grabbed three of these. Here, I should do my thumbnail while we're here. Um, with the spoon, easy on the go. And then they stopped putting the spoon or they bought ones without the spoon either way. But I got Mediterranean herb and spice, two of those, a cracked pepper and sea salt and another roasted garlic and herb. These are just great for me to have on hand because I'm always on the go and I can just grab and go with my lunches or whatnot for that. Um, I got this for another one of my work prizes. And speaking of that, um, I don't care. I know that uh, I got a couple nasty comments in the description or down in the comments. Oh, that they wouldn't want to work with me and how awful and work is work. That's your life. If you, if you want to go somewhere every day and spend more time at the office and at work than you do at your home and be miserable, I can't help you. My work team, my people enjoy the trivia and having little fun things every once in a while and the, the life altering prizes. They love it. I, I'll get like a message. Hey, you know, we'll send out a, hey, you did a really good job because they do a good job. And I'll get, oh, do I get a life altering prize? You sure do, girl. You sure do. So nobody's forced to do anything. We just try to make it fun because we're all there eight hours minimum, five days a week. So. Just my little disclaimer, but don't get hurt, your feelings hurt on my behalf because my feelings are not hurt. I wouldn't do it if my team didn't enjoy it. Just wanted to throw that out there. 
Anyway, so I got some new Jolly Rancher gummies um, to put in one of the prize packages with something else. Just a little snack. I just pick up little things and then I usually pair them together. So this is just a little treat. Somebody likes candy or wants some. Um, and then what I don't need in my life is more office supplies. But with that being said, this is a notebook and it's got cat stickers. I mean, why don't I need this in my life? I do. And it has these and then the paper matches now this one's for me so we can all together see exactly what is on the cover when I take off these stickers I didn't want to take okay it is plain it's plain and then you use your stickers maybe to decorate it and these are Greenbrier just for the record so that means that the reason I just I differentiate if it's a Greenbrier product or not Typically, if it's a green briar product, it'll be at all the stores or most stores. Or I guess you have a better chance of getting it at your store, yes, I should say. Whereas, like, this is a Bonita home. This is a buyout they got from somewhere. I don't know. Only one of my stores that I know of got that. Got those. So that's why I try to differentiate so you're not on the hunt for something that maybe your store will never get. So this is just a journal. You get one little sticker sheet of cats. And then that's the top, right? I mean, honestly, what a, there is no front or back. As soon as you pick, you put your stickers on it and then you have a notebook. Honestly, I use these notebooks. I carry them with me and um, I jot down ideas for videos and stuff or grocery lists, whatever. I just like to have a notebook and pen handy at all times because I'm like that. Speaking of, I grabbed this little three pack of notebooks. Again, these just go in my purse. Like something like this is super handy on travel because it's tiny, it's small, but I can make notes, um, write things down, but it's little and it will fit. This one I got specifically because it will fit in the, I made a book sleeve for my planner and this will slide in a front pocket that I made with a pen. And then I have everything I need together. And when I need to make notes, you know, the one trip up. Alex, he's a little nutso today. Uh, when I'm going to Ireland this summer, I'm traveling with four of my family members. So it's always handy to have something to make notes on. And I just thought these were pretty. You know, I never know when an idea for a video or a planner or something strikes me. And I would love, I know there's a note app on my phone, but I'm a pen and paper girl. So I grab these and I just put them in a basket or a little bucket. And when I need one, I grab it. And then when I have too many, I give them away. Um, because that happens too. This is the last thing I picked up. I did get three of these. I know. They are all the same. However, like this one has one of the stickers is damaged. What I'm doing is I hope these are sturdy enough. I am going to put magnets on the back and give them to my friends at cross stitching retreats for a needle minder. So what a needle minder is, I'll show you, I'll do it with this one since it's already gross. So these are just little wood cutouts, right? It's just wood. If you can see here, the glue got all gross up there and now the white is coming off. It's just a mess. So I wouldn't use this specific one but there's nothing on the back so what I'm going to do is you glue a magnet and they're the really super strong magnets they're called rare earth glue one with like e6000 on the back and then you put another one and you give it and then they take it and you have a magnet here your fabric of any kind here and you put a magnet on the back and this stays put you can attach your needle your needle just sticks to it so you don't lose it while you're crafting and this is like right up my alley because it's a coffee cup, right? So I think what I'm going to do is spray seal these with um, shellac so they are a little more, you know, a little more soft and glossy. I'll shine the back. I will spray the front a couple times and then I will put um, the magnets on and I will have a lot. So I couldn't find... I wanted two packs like that one. Also, the on the cup is a little skewed. Maybe I won't use that one. If I'm gifting these away, 
I want them to look correct. So I got those. This one I liked, but what are the cups? Oh yeah, this one was a little overburned. It's made with a laser. So I figure I'll get a decent amount out of three packages to gift. And I'm just gonna put them, attach them to my business card for my channel and my YouTube, I mean, and for my um, Etsy store and hand them out to people as little gifts at the retreat. And everybody knows I'm a coffee drinker, so this is, you know, it's almost like they knew I was coming, Dollar Tree. And I did not take them all. There was like a ton left of the coffee cups. So, but there's nine on each. So if I lose a couple, you know, if I get 25, I will be happy of these. We'll see. And if the one that's a little askew, maybe I won't care when I get down to it. I mean, I care now, so I can't imagine that I wouldn't care then. But I also, maybe I could pop it off and re-glue it or just not use it. So that's it. That is all the stuff I got at the Dollar Tree this week. I hope you enjoyed. I do not forget to like and subscribe in the description box below. And I will have an Ikea haul for you soon. I want to run back to the Dollar Tree and take that container. I don't want to take the chance that they're going to run out. Oh, also with these, if you stack them up and you have a piece of wood or something, you can make a shelf on the top. Now it's going to be slidey around, but you can put some grippers on it and then you have a tabletop. I'm just saying, it's the season of storage and cleanup and organization. So we all have that to do today. All right, friends, have a good one. I'll talk with you later. Bye.